Good evening. I'd like to call to order the regular meeting of the Planning and Zoning Board uh, for Tuesday, April 4th, 2017. Uh, Morgan, would you like to have a roll call? Yes. Brandon Layton. Here. Barry Evans. Here. Karen Beatty. Jimmy Dillema. Willie Dukert Sr. Here. Kara Williams. Here. Sonny Luzo. Here. Jeffrey Midget. Here. Jerry Walker. Don Black. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a quorum. Okay, thank you. Um, before I move to approval of minutes, uh, we have a, an amendment to our agenda. Uh, staff's request, we are going to delete or remove items B, B, and B, C, and that is the um, articles for design guidelines and performance standards for the Glen Burning Road Corridor, and also um, the design guidelines and performance standards for the Newsom Boulevard Corridor. Um, staff is um, reviewing those two articles further, and they may or may not come back before us uh, for amendments at a later date. Okay, having made that adjustment, um, we'll move on to approval of minutes. Did everybody receive the minutes from our March 7th meeting? Everybody have a chance to review those? Okay, any uh, corrections or revisions? Uh, hearing none, I'll accept a uh, motion. I make a motion to approve the minutes. Okay, uh, second motion. motion. We have a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries. All right, let's move on to our new business now. Um, and our first item of new business is consideration of a request by Sella Ford to amend City Land Use Ordinance Article uh, 22, and this is Design Guidelines and Performance Standards for the Highway 17, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Boulevard Corridor, uh, specifically Section 15, uh, 466B2, which is sheathing materials. Morgan, would you like to give us a staff position on that? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Stephen Sella of Sella Ford has made a request to amend, to amend the land use ordinance to permit the use, the use of aluminum composite material, also known as ACM, as a permitted sheathing material within the U.S. Highway 17 Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard corridor. The aluminum composite material is a type of sandwich panel consisting of two thin aluminum sheets that have been bonded to a non-aluminum core. They're utilized often as a building facade material. The purpose of the sandwich panel it achieves mechanical performance with minimal weight to the facade of the building. And Mr. Mr. Sella, uh, excuse me, Mr. Sella is here this evening to present some renderings that he has to show you. And I'll go ahead and hand it over to him at this time. As you can see in the pictures, it's 
It's a lot better than we have now. We've got a, a kind of 1972 look. It was built before, but um, we're not trying to build a metal building. We just want to be able to build this, have this architectural uh, aluminum on the facade of the building. The building will still be brick down the sides. We're not trying to uh, encourage uh, industrial sheet steel buildings. That's not what we're here for. But we, I want to say the developmental uh, services have been very cooperative with us. Greg and Brad and uh, Jeff have tried to work around the world as best they can to allow us to do what, the most of what we can do, but unfortunately we can only get about two-thirds of what we need to do under the present ordinance. And I know uh, when this ordinance was written, I think in the 90s, I believe, as, as I understand it anyway, uh, this type of material wasn't used uh, a whole lot in industry. And if you go around, as, as you people know better than I, um, all over the place, it's very common with commercial enterprises, and especially with uh, national prototype buildings. Um, it's a tried to look, it holds up well. I don't think it will, you know, uh, disrespect the uh, corridor coming in the city of Newburn. Um, I'm a long time resident, uh, I grew up here. I, I don't want the city to look, uh, you know, demean the look of the city. But I, I think some flexibility in this regard, adding this material to the list, of the tax ordinance would, uh, would help uh, uh, you know, promote business going forward, other uh, national chains coming in. I do know, I won't mention the name, but another company is going to be needing the same type of material within the next year or so. Talk to the owner of that company, a long time business in, in our area out there. So it's going to come up again. I, you know, of course, we have to do what the city will allow. But uh, I, I think it's, it, it would not be a, a negative for the, it's not the traditional steel building look that I think a lot of people associate with that, with any kind of metal material. It's just architectural, it's nothing structural about it. There's steel behind it, um, there's, there's nothing, it's not holding up the building. You're not going to see a bunch of steel buildings if you approve uh, architectural aluminum as a, as a material, in, in my mind. Um, and like I said, it's been widely used already in Eastern North Carolina all around us. And that's, that's basically what our whole thought process is. I don't, maybe I can answer some questions. That's the best rendering I have to show you what it would look like. But we have to answer any questions uh, beyond that. Or have any questions for uh, yourself? It's pretty common material in franchise architecture, uh, and particularly um, in the last 10 to 15 years on the East Coast. Yes, sir. Um, Morgan, do you have anything to add? I, I think maybe the important thing to note here from the from board, what we are being asked to um, render a decision on tonight, or at least a recommendation, this has to go to the Board of Aldermen for final approval um, if we are to uh, amend the or, um, uh, article of the ordinance. But what we are being asked to uh, review tonight is adding this type of material, um, this architectural um, <coughs> possible in the panel, uh, to the list of accepted materials for the, um, well in particular, we've got another article we'll follow down where we, we're going to add a definition of the panel and we're going to review that and we'll talk about that. Um, but in particular what uh, this application is for is to add this, this material as an accepted material on the Highway 17, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard Corridor. I have a question. Should we also add, assuming we, 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 we have a problem with it, should there be a distance from the street as far as um, having uh, sun reflection? Is that a problem? Um, staff has heard some concerns with the public regarding the safety and the appearance of aluminum on the facade of the building due to its light reflectance value. Um, there is already a mechanism in place to address that concern. Section um, 15466B sub 3 of the ordinance, it states that no more than 60% of the facade of any principal building facing the highway corridor should be of glass or other reflective material. So there is a cap on that. Further, in section 15461A, it notes under colors, the exterior color finish of all buildings excluding single family dwellings and duplexes, shall be of low reflectance. 
High intensity colors shall be prohibited. Black and metallic colors are prohibited when used on more than 25% of any one exterior wall surface. So there are some limitations there. Ma'am, I'm not sure. What, uh, what, I know what Morgan read, but I'm not sure if that means that you can only put 60% across of, with, with the front facade under the present ordinance if you just change the material. Uh, it would be no more than 60% facing the highway corridor can be of glass or another reflective material, so I guess it would depend upon what the reflectivity is of these ACMs. Yeah. They, they don't uh, reflect a lot of light back. They're designed that way. In fact, if you, if you have to go by Morgan City during a, a sunny day and look at their uh, building, it doesn't <coughs> shine back at you. Right. Um, so I'm not sure how that would apply. But what we're trying to do is put it across the, all the way across the front, and we'd like to use the word uh, architectural aluminum because I think there's a couple of little variances in ACM. When I asked for the variance, um, I put in ACM, but I think there's a couple of little variances of architectural aluminum that maybe that's too defined a, a description. But um, it's it's widely used and it's not it doesn't shine back in your eyes. Uh, it's, it's not disturbing to you know to traffic out there where people would be blinded or would be uh, annoyed uh, by the appearance of it. But, uh, and I don't know that, it, well, I, it should not have any bearing on what we are doing this evening because we are not dealing with your building in particular, right. not with staff, but okay. something that might be helpful to staff is uh, the particular panel finish that you're looking at. Mm -hmm. you can, uh, most manufacturers will provide for that particular finish an SRI value, solar reflections okay. index, and that would be something that will probably be helpful to staff in, um, you know, in helping guide the decision process. Sure, you get that. Let me ask this question. Is there not a place to line here already have this material on it? Uh, look out forward in Morehead City. It's already done this. Look out and in Morehead City. It's been done uh, in the last year. Uh, Goldsboro's just about finished with theirs. So if it's done, I think, on the outside where you can see it. Uh, Greenville's doing it. I don't think their front is finished yet, but they're doing it. Uh, Hastings forward. And then Lee Motor Company, Wilson, has already done it. been done for a year or two. Uh, just to name a few in the general area. Right. And, and that's, uh, you're speaking specifically for dealerships. Um, right. This that particular material um, can be found on um, the Honda dealership. Uh, that, that's the same type of material. It's an aluminum architectural panel. Um, the Toyota dealership, you go out of town, right. that has it. Um, it's, it's very common to uh, auto dealerships. Um, Chevrolet also. Correct. That's right. The Trent, Trent has that. That's correct. Uh, and a similar color, I think, a uh, similar finish on some oh, of the yeah. Any other questions for Mr. Sell? And tell you how to do the in Greenville had to do? Um, I don't know about the one in Greenville, but the one on the way out of town here has, uh, uh, they're not the silver color, but it's the same material. The same material, yeah. What different color does it come in? Well, I'll take her prototype, it's a uh, uh, fact that Passed yeah, around the sample. Yeah, yeah. That, that most of it would be the uh, lower left, the, the more silver color. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it kind of it flex it on that rendering. And then to the right side, it's more of that darker color mm -hmm. on the lower right. Predominantly would be the, the main uh, color you see, silver color you see on the rendering. Okay, any other questions? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak either for or against this uh, amendment to this article? Uh, okay, hearing none, I'll bring it back to the board. Is there any more board discussion before I ask for a motion? Okay, hearing none, um, I'll entertain a motion at this time. Now, just a reminder, we are recommending either uh, uh, recommending to amend the uh, article of the ordinance or we're recommending against uh, because this again has to go to the uh, Board of Aldermen for final decision. So at this time I'll entertain a motion. It should be worded, I guess, as if as the as word of business for the All right, you can, or you know, as presented, um, you know, unless you're wanting to make a uh, you know, amendment to uh, to the application as uh, presented to us. Nope. Okay. I'm almost that we 
accept the way we accept the proposal as, as, as it's presented to the Okay. Second. Okay, I would second. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll just make a couple of points. Uh, number one, I think that the Congress has made a lot of progress in the last couple of years. Uh, and I think that the Congress has made a lot of progress in the last couple of years. Motion carries. All right. Next item of new business, and we've got excluding the two articles that we have removed from the agenda. So we have six articles that we are um, staff is recommending that we review those, and uh, unless we see the need to pull one out and deal with it separately, that we deal with them as a group. And um, I see no reason not to uh, address it that way. And so no. Time if you'd like to give us the uh, staff recommendations. Yes. So these edits are more or less a result of just <coughs> simple housekeeping text changes. There were some numerical errors when we made this, the land use ordinance changes over this past summer. Um, you also will see a definition of ACM included in that lot as well. But this is more or less a housekeeping measure. There were also um, a couple of issues where the updates in 2014 were not incorporated into the unit code as they should have been. So we are simply readopting that language as it was approved in 2014. And that's all I have for you this evening. Okay, is everybody? had a chance to review the information that Morgan has sent us for each one of these articles. Um, if so, or if not, are there any questions with, regarding any of these? So we have our uh, Article 2 of definitions under Section 15-15. We're adding the definition for aluminum composite panels, which dovetails with the uh, application that we just uh, recommended approval on. Um, and that definition, if I'm not mistaken, Morgan, it is um, a panel consisting of two thin aluminum, aluminum sheets, uh, which may be smooth or textured, uh, and they are continuously bonded to a non-aluminum cord for a unitary panel. That is correct. It is okay. at the foundable end of your memo. Okay. Um, and then we we have just dealt with. In essence, uh, D, which is uh, the sheeting materials in the composite uh, uh, material, that is the, essentially the same item as uh, item A, A above that we have just uh, voted on. So then beyond that, it's the housekeeping items uh, E through H that uh, Morgan was just speaking of. So, any more discussion? Okay. So, again, staff has recommended that we deal with, uh, in essence, A, E, F, G, and H as uh, with one uh, motion and one vote. And so if there are no objections to doing so, I would entertain a, uh, a motion at this time. Or an alternate plan.